In the days and weeks following the Deepwater Horizon blowout on April 20, 2010, extensive public attention was focused on the impacts of escaping oil on beaches, marshes, birds, turtles, and marine mammals. Many scientists, though, have also been very concerned about the Gulf of Mexico's deep water ecosystems. Over the past 10 years, NOAA's Office of Exploration and Research has sponsored 11 expeditions to study these ecosystems. Each of these expeditions was documented with an extensive website that included lesson plans for educators of grades 5 through 12. Because the Gulf of Mexico's deep sea ecosystems are almost entirely unknown to the general public, we've prepared a collection of these lessons, together with additional background information, to provide a foundation for student inquiries about deep sea ecosystems. In particular, these lessons are intended to build capabilities for comparing data from past explorations with new studies of deep sea ecosystems following the Deepwater Horizon event. Nine of the 11 Ocean Explorer Gulf of Mexico expeditions were directed specifically toward exploring deep sea ecosystems and organisms in the Gulf. In 2004 and 2005, the Operation Deep Scope expeditions were focused on new ways of seeing organisms in the deep ocean, but these expeditions also collected valuable information on the inhabitants of deep sea ecosystems in the Gulf. The Office of Ocean Exploration and Research has also sponsored other expeditions to the Gulf of Mexico, but these were focused on archaeological objectives rather than deep sea ecosystems. The Gulf of Mexico Deep Sea Ecosystems Educational Materials Collection begins with an educator's guide that provides background information, links to resources, and an overview of selected lesson plans. The educator's guide includes information on the geology of petroleum formation in the Gulf, background about the behavior of oil and oil dispersants, a brief overview of cold seep and deep sea coral ecosystems, and notes about scientific investigations related to the Deepwater Horizon blowout. Following these background topics, we provide a brief description of the 16 initial lessons included in the collection. Now we call these initial lessons because it's likely that additional lessons will be added to the collection as new information becomes available. Because the Deepwater Horizon event touches many different facets of our society, we anticipate that educators will use information from this collection in a variety of ways. While each of the lessons is identified with a specific grade level, most of them can be adapted for use with other grades as well. We also include lists of key background essays and visual media that may be used to help customize lessons for specific curriculum needs. As is the case with most Ocean Explorer lessons, there are many opportunities for cross-curricular activities that include language arts, social studies, fine arts, and mathematics, as well as the natural sciences. Each lesson in the collection is correlated with national science education standards and also with the ocean literacy essential principles and fundamental concepts. Now, these correlations do not necessarily mean that a particular lesson fully develops the correlated standards, principles, or concepts. Instead, the correlations indicate that an educator may use the information in the lesson as a context or a point of departure for addressing those standards. Finally, two appendices at the end of the educator's guide offer ideas for activities to demonstrate some properties of oil and water and some of the basic geological concepts about petroleum formation. The lesson selections and overall organization that we would use for the next three weeks reflect four topics that we believe are particularly relevant to the deep sea ecosystems theme. First, methane hydrates, which received considerable attention when they interfered with early attempts to cap the blowout. Next, an overview of cold seep and deep sea coral ecosystems, and then why these ecosystems are important. And finally, biological oceanographic investigations. We hope you'll enjoy using these materials, and we're looking forward to exploring them with you.